what does the future have in store for us? I have to say I've been looking into this now for deep many years and it seems that we are headed for a crash. I'm not the only one saying this, of course. I'm going to get into a few reasons why today and I am surely not the only one. Mark Faber said the 2014 crash will be worse than 1987's. He's suggesting that the valuations, the way that they are determining what the value is of any particular stock is totally out of whack. It is totally wrong and this is not sustainable. Ultimately, we'll have to correct, as they say, he said 20% and probably more likely 30%. I have to say that, you know, I personally don't like to put a time on things, but it is undoubtable that this has to crash. They're printing money. The Federal Reserve is supporting this entire thing. Without the Fed there, that's the crutch. It would just fall. It would collapse right away. But the Fed is there supporting it. Now, they have this other option, which is the interest rates. But they're already down to zero. Now, Janet Yellen, prior to becoming the head, had said publicly that if she could do negative interest rates, she would. And what negative interest means to me is theft. It's already bad enough to have it at zero percent. But to have negative, that's theft. That's what they do in uh, places around the world. They, you have to pay to give the bank your money. This is crazy. Now, I have an issue with how we're ever going to have a recovery because quite frankly, you cannot have a recovery without jobs, without full employment. Look at this. Part-time Britain. Record numbers now have jobs, but most finding employment work for less than 25 hours. That's what's happening in the U.S. It's happening in other countries around the world. They're getting jobs in some cases, but they are getting part-time employment. So when you have part-time employment, you're getting part-time pay. And some of these people are taking two and three jobs. So when they calculate how many people have gotten jobs, the numbers might be greater, but that just means that there's still many people unemployed, but one individual may have three jobs. So it skews those figures up. And then you have something like an Obamacare, which is almost forcing employers not to give their employees full-time hours because then they'll have to pay out on the Obamacare. I see where that's going and I'm seeing how destructive that is to the overall economy. People can't buy things. People can't go out and spend their money if they don't have money to spend. Look at the market being sold off right now. Is this the beginning of that greater crash? I'm not too sure about that. However, it does lead me to believe that the market is not strong. It is simply fueled by this engine that is the Federal Reserve, which has to end at some point, whether it's in a devaluation of the dollar or whether it's a very deep market correction. And here, here we go. Top economists warn Germany that the EMU crisis at dangerous as ever. And I've been talking about this. I talked about it in my book that the euro crisis is the first set of the dominoes to fall because they're trying to use this one currency, a one interest rate for all of these countries. It doesn't work like that. And instead of trying to kick out countries, they're trying to bring more countries in. Why? Because they want control. The EU parliament decides Besides all these laws for these countries, even though this makes no sense, there's unelected bureaucrats in charge over there. And of course, this is just the beginning. It hasn't even gotten close to where they're going to be going. This is a Harvard study. Your share of the federal debt is $106,000. This is the U.S., of course. But the one thing in this article that they mentioned was that food stamps have increased over 70% in the last few years. Over 70% percent food stamp increase is on the rise what does that mean that is the most basic essential thing for people is their food if they can't eat they're gonna riot that's the way this works but you have this welfare system essentially that is the food stamp program that they can use to keep the people from rioting keeping people from being upset but what happens when that crutch is removed that's right it's a collapse in this instance here it's a riot there's gonna be riots on the street
streets if this ever stops. If the, if the government ever runs out of funding for this program, you're going to have mass chaos. And I am warning everyone right now. If you want some more information, I hope that you'll get onto the Money GPS Insiders. That is at my website, themoneygps.com. Scroll down to the bottom, fill in your email address. I'd like you to say that I'm trying to reply to all the comments. I have so many backlogged. I'm trying to get to them. I hope you're all enjoying everything I'm doing here. The, the subscribers, I, I really enjoy all the comments and all the emails we've been sharing back and forth. I hope that you'll support me uh, throughout this, and I hope that I can continue to bring new information. If there's somewhere that you want to take this channel, please let me know, because I always i am encouraged to do videos for whatever it is that the subscribers want. That's what I want to give, the information that people are really looking for. I certainly don't know everything, but I do do a, a lot of research, and I will be willing to share whatever I know. Please give me a comment send me an email get on the insiders that's the best place to email me I reply back to those people right there if you need consultations let me know because uh, you know I, I really try to fit the consultation people in first those are my first priority of course and then it's the insiders and then it's my email address and then from then on I do the comments it's very hard for me to reply to the comments these days because the consultations are taking up a lot of time and that's it for today and I will talk to you tomorrow